Hi, in this video we'll learn how to multiply binomials using FOIL method. So FOIL is F-O-I-L, where F stands for first, O stands for outside, I stands for inside, and L represents last terms. So basically, FOIL is referring to the order of multiplying the terms. So let's identify the first term of each binomial. The first term in this binomial is 3x, and the first term in this binomial is 2x. So these are the first terms, and we're going to multiply them together. So we have 3x times 2x. Then we'll identify the outside terms and then multiply them together. So outside terms would be, um, the outside term from this binomial would be 3x, and the outside term from this binomial would be negative 1. See how they're on the outer edges, that's why they're outside terms. So we have 3x from the first binomial, and then negative 1 from the second binomial. Now we'll identify the inside terms and then multiply them. So inside terms would be negative 7 from the first binomial, and then 2x from the second binomial, because see how they're on the inside, that's why they're inside terms. So we have negative 7 from the first binomial, and then 2x from the second binomial. Now, last terms of each binomial. So the last term would be, um, the, from the first binomial, the last term is negative 7, and from the second binomial, the last term is a negative 1. So we're going to multiply negative 7 and negative 1. Negative 7 times negative 1. And then let's see. Uh, let's multiply all these. 3x times 2x. 3 times 2 is 6. And then x times x is x squared. And we have 3x times negative 1. 3 times negative 1 is a negative 3. And then we have x along with that. Negative 7 times 2x, negative 7 times 2 is a negative 14, and we have x with it. Negative 7 times negative 1 would be a positive 7. Now, we have multiplied all the terms. Now, we're going to add all these terms and then combine the like terms. So, let's put 6x squared first because that's the highest exponent we have. Then, we have negative 3x, and we have negative 14x, and then positive 7. Notice that the we can combine these two terms because they are like terms. So we'll leave 6x squared as it is. Negative 3x minus 14x will be negative 17x, and then we have plus 7. So this will be my final answer, and notice that my final answer is in standard form, and you have to make sure that you write the answer in standard form. That me, The standard form means um, the terms should be written in decreasing order of the power of x. So this one is x squared, this one is x, and this one doesn't have x with it. Or you can assume that this is x to the power 0, this is x to the power 1, and this is x to the power 2. So you have to write them in decreasing order of the power of x. Um, I hope you find this video helpful. That's all in this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new to this channel and want to see more videos on other math topics, be sure to subscribe down below and share it with your friends. See you in next video.